Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my Sephora VIB sale haul and I already uploaded a Sephora haul when I shopped at the friends and family sale. You guys wanted to see the extra little bits that I picked up during the actual VIB sale. So I decided to include Ulta and Beautylish because Beautylish has an event every year. They have a spend 100 and then you get a $20 gift card. So I shopped for that and also I placed a random order at Ulta and a lot of you on Snapchat wanted to see what I picked up because I did get the Jaclyn Hill palette and I initially wasn't going to get that palette just because of Morphe's shipping. So I did pick it up at Ulta and a few other things. So it wasn't enough to do three separate videos just decided to combine it into one. But if there is a place that you kind of want to skip, I'll put timestamps in the description box for you guys, just so you can see when each of the stores start. I'm going to start off with the Sephora VIB sale, just because I know a lot of you guys wanted to see the extra little things that I picked up. In my first order, I purchased one of these new Huda Beauty palettes. This is the Smoky Obsessions. I'm wearing it on my eyes today and I really like it. It's quite small. I knew that these were going to be little mini palettes. So you can see the size there compared to my hand. And it has really beautiful shadows. I only used this once and it looks like I did a pretty good dent on it. But that's because there's a lot of kick up in the powders, especially the mattes. The shimmers are amazing. They're so intense. But there is quite a lot of kick up for the mattes, which doesn't bother me. The blendability is really good. So I have been enjoying this so far, just the one use. I'm gonna use it some more times, and I think I might do a tutorial with this guy for you guys. And then I also picked up another one of these Sephora Pro brushes, and I got the Airbrush Concealer Brush, which is number 57. And it comes capped. I haven't used this one yet. And I wanted a brush that looked like this. I have a Morphe brush that kind of looks like this for the eyes but the ferrule came off on it, it's super cheap. So I wanted to pick up that kind of style, but in one that I know is going to hold up. So I got the number 57 and I can't wait to use it for concealer. I really like these kind of brushes when I'm going for a full coverage effect underneath my eyes. So that's why I picked that guy up. And I also picked up this Caviar Anti-Aging 3 Minute Shine Boost Recharge and Color. I used to use this a while back and I actually found the one that I was using, but my husband and I, we put all our shower stuff in a box and threw it in our basement because we were getting ready for a quick sale on our house, which we never ended up going through. We never pulled that box back up from the basement until recently and I found this was in it and I fell back in love with it. So I decided to pick up another one because I'm almost out of that. I think I have one use left, but it really does a difference for your hair for making it shiny. I had some questions and I forget what video it was. It might've been my Sephora video, like what I put in my hair to make it so shiny. And I just did this shine treatment the night before. So that's all I did for my hair. And then I also picked up another hair product, which is super random because I don't often purchase a lot of hair products, but you're gonna see a bunch in this haul. This is from Dry Bar. It's their Prep Rally Prime and Prep Detangler. Looks like this. I had a deluxe size of this and I used it before the sale. Fell in love with it because I get pretty bad tangles in my hair because it is quite long. I actually cut off quite a bit of it maybe that much, just because my ends were so ratty. I don't think I had been to the hairdresser in a couple of years. It was a long time. So I was in need of a haircut. And this is amazing for detangling your hair, especially if you have really long tangly hair like mine, it gets tangled really easily. So this is perfect for me. And I picked up the full size because I fell in love with the trial size that I had prior. And then I have two more things that I purchased from Sephora, actually three but they're not here yet. I got a set of the Huda Beauty lashes, the Huda Beauty face primer, and the Huda Beauty foundation. Randomly at night, one night, I got a notification that my foundation color was in stock. So I snagged that up quickly and it's on its way. So it hasn't come quite yet, but I'm probably going to have it by the time this video goes up so I can insert images of those. But I do plan on doing a wear test for that foundation. I've gotten so many people who wanted to see my review on it. And initially I wasn't going to pick it up. I was unsure. I've been getting hounded to review it for you guys. And I'm curious now because I have seen a bunch of reviews on it as well and it looks pretty good to me. So I can't wait to try it. So you will be seeing a whole dedicated video to that once it gets to my house. Then Beautylish every single year has an event where you spend 100, you get a $20 gift card sent to you. And I spent exactly 100. And it was so satisfying that my total equaled exactly $100. I don't know why, I just really like that. 
and I picked up four things. I got a couple Charlotte Tilbury, which I like to purchase off Beautylish, and it is probably my favorite brand if you guys saw my top five Charlotte Tilbury. So I want to try a couple more things. I've heard so many things about this particular lipstick. I have tried the Kissing Formula before, but this one I haven't tried, and it's a nude cake, and I've wanted this forever. I love the packaging on Charlotte Tilbury. It's weighted. It feels like your money. It's so beautiful. And this is what the color looks like. So it's just a really nice nude. You guys know me and my nude lipsticks. That's the color right there. And I do prefer these kind of brownie beige nudes as opposed to something pink or too peach. It's really nice. So that's my kind of nude right there. And I have used it once and I love it. And then I've also tried out one of their matte contour liquid lipsticks. I wanted to try the formula of these, so I picked up the shade Charlotte Darling. And the packaging of this is really pretty as well. You can see the color through the tube. Just another nude shade. That's what the liquid lipstick looks like. Really pretty as well. Darker, has a little bit more pink to it, I'd say. But the formula is a whip consistency. It's very comfortable on the lips and I really liked it. So I definitely kind of want to check out some more after that. Maybe I'll have to spend that $20 gift card on more of these, <laughs> but we shall see. And then the last thing that I picked up from Beautylish is the two, actually, of the Jouer Essential Lip Enhancers. And this is my favorite lip balm. I love this stuff so much. I can't recommend it enough. It's amazing. So I picked up two because I'm almost out of the one I have right now, so I figured may as well get a backup. I use this every day. It's my everyday favorite lip balm. If I could only choose one out of this entire world, it would be this guy because it changed my lips completely. On the back, it says that a nourishing and conditioning lip treatment containing Maxi Lip clinically proven to help increase the fullness of lips while decreasing fine lines. And it does exactly that, and which is surprising. I didn't think it would when I initially purchased this. I had no expectation, but I fell in love with it. So have a backup because I love it so much. And then from Ulta, they recently got Morphe and I really wanted the Jaclyn Hill palette when it initially came out. However, if you follow my channel, you know I refuse to pay exorbitant shipping fees, which Morphe has and duties. It's something about ordering from their site if you order a palette. When I've ordered brushes from Morphe, I haven't got hit with crazy duties and charges, but anytime you order a palette from the Morphe website, if you're from Canada, I don't know what it is, why this website, Anastasia does it too, but you get charged so much. As soon as I saw it on Ulta, I knew since I've placed an order with Ulta to ship to Canada before and did a whole video on their shipping service to Canada because they actually recently did that. I love the service, so I decided to get it from Ulta. It's the new Glossy. I know she changed it or Ulta changed it, Morphe changed it for Ulta. So it's a different packaging and it has the names on the back now. And I can't wait to play around with it. I only tried a couple of the lighter shades just for an everyday kind of eye and I really liked it. But we'll see how it goes. If you want to see a tutorial using this palette, let me know. I'd love to create something for you guys. But I'm really excited to finally have my hands on it. As I said, I really wanted it when Morphe launched it, but I refuse to pay shipping. Refuse. <laughs> and then I decided while I'm there, I should get another Morphe palette. And this is the 3502. And I saw on Trend Mood that Morphe was having issues with this palette breaking and the black shadow specifically coming busted in the palettes. And lo and behold, mine did the exact same thing. So I contacted Ulta about it. They're really good about it, sending me a new one. But with the black shade busting, that's like the worst color to break because it went into every single eyeshadow, it has a little bit of black in it. So once the new palette gets to me, hopefully not broken, I do want to do a look or something with that because it looked really pretty. All the shades look so nice, but it's just weird that they had that issue. Look, it's all over my hands. <laughs> Black everywhere. And then from Maybelline, I purchased one of these Baby Lips lip crayons. And this is in Toasted Taupe. I saw someone on Instagram wear this. I think it was... Karen, I love Sarah E. It looks so beautiful on her, I had to pick it up. I'm pretty sure it was her. 
So I purchased this color. It's a really nice light nude. It looks really nice with Spice Lip Pencil from MAC if you were to line your lips with that and put this on. Now is the portion of my video. If you are a member of my family, you must turn off this video. Exit out, please, because the next is a gift and I do not want the person who this is for to see this. So please do me the courtesy of exiting out of my video now. <laughs> on to the next product. I decided to pick up this limited edition love is the foundation foundation brush from it cosmetics and every time you purchase one of these brushes a brush gets donated to look good feel better for women suffering with cancer and it looks like a little heart i heard kathleen lights talk about this brush and she raved about it saying it's amazing so as soon as i saw it on the Ulta website, I decided to pick one up. And recently, my sister-in-law was diagnosed with cancer. I have her for our Secret Santa. She's currently fighting her battle right now. And I thought this would be a really nice gift for her to go into her gift that I'm getting her for Christmas. And just put a little note with it saying that by the purchase of this, it's also going to another woman with cancer. And it's just a program to help women with confidence who have cancer. I just thought it was a really nice gift. So as soon as I saw that, I decided to get another one. I wish I would have got two, to be honest, but I think she's going to really love that gift. And then I also got two hair care products. You would have seen these in a pretty recent empties video. I don't think it was my last one. It might have been my last one before that. I had run out of these, and I saw them on Ulta, so I knew I was going to pick them up there. And this is the Kenra Platinum Blow Dry Spray. It's an advanced dry thermal protectant. When I do happen to blow dry my hair, I like to use this in my hair prior and it cuts the dry time in half, which is nice. So it speeds up the process, but it also has a thermal protectant. So it protects your hair and it leaves your hair pretty shiny. So I've gone through, I want to say three of those that size before and it lasts me forever. So I've been using it for quite some time. And then the other thing that I ran out of that I wanted to pick up is the Redken Extreme Anti-Snap. And I swear, this is one of the only products I ever put in my hair. My hair got really long and my hair just doesn't break off, which attributes to how your hair grows because if it's breaking off, it's not obviously going to grow. So my hair was pretty much down to my butt when I decided to cut off the ends. And this really helps with my hair. It is a protein, so you don't want to use it all the time, but it's really good for what it says. Your hair doesn't snap and it's a leave-in treatment. So after the shower, I'll just put this through the damaged ends of my hair. So you don't want to put it on your roots or anything like that, just in the damaged sections of your hair. And this lasts me forever. So it's going to take me another bit of time to run out of this. So I needed another one. So I decided to pick it up from Ulta. So that is everything for my haul from Sephora, Beautylish, and Ulta. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you all have a really great weekend. Thank you for stopping by this Friday night to watch this video. And I will see you all in my next one, which should be on Tuesday.